In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can add panel lines to our models in plasticity. There's a million ways to do it, but I'm going to show you a couple different ways and show you the difference and how they look. I particularly like the second method, but I'm going to show you this first one because it's easy. And what we want to do is we want to take the, these lines and we want to project them or imprint them into this model. So if we select our model and then we shift select our lines, then we hit F and type in IMP for imprint. We can imprint curve body. So when we do this, now let me hide this. Now you can see that we've cut into our model. Now what we need to do for this method in order for it to work is we need to extract these lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to shift click them. And after we shift click them, hit shift D. So when you hit shift D, it's going to create a copy of all those lines. So now that we have a copy of those lines, let's hide our body for a second. So now we have these. And what we want to do now is hit F and then type in pipe. Once we select pipe, now it's going to allow us to do the selection size. So let's go 0 0.025. We're going to say OK. So this is what we're going to use to create our panel lines in the first method. So if we turn our model back on, now what we want to do is we want to select our model. And then we want to shift select our panel line cutter. Then we want to hit Q. And when Q comes up, you'll see that it's set to cut those into there. So we're going to say OK. And that's the first method for creating panel lines. One of the reasons why I don't care for this method is it creates these rounded insets. And I don't like those because, for one thing, if you're going to export this to a polygon model, then it's more work. And I just don't care for the look. I like to be able to control the shape in case you wanted a different size panel line in one area or another. So I don't use this method very often, maybe every once in a while. So let's do away with that. Let's bring back our other model. We're going to hide that. And now what we have is two offset curves. Now with the offset curves, you could do these different sizes. So this one could be one size and then down here it could be another. But in this case, we'll use the same size. So what we want to do is the same thing that we did before. We want to select our model. We want to select each one of our lines and we want to imprint them again. So we're going to imprint curve body. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to hide those. So now what you can see is that we have these double lines cut into our model. So what we can do with this is go into our face mode. So now what we can do is we can select a face. We can hit E for extrude. And then we can actually pull this in whatever we want it to be. So in this case, we'll go 0 0.025. And then if we select this one, we can pull it in 0 0.025. And we can select this top one. And this is one of the reasons why I like using this method. So in this case, I'm going to take that down 0 0.05 because I want that to be deeper. And I want to do the same thing back here. I feel like you have a lot more control over your panel lines whenever you use the second method, but it's up to you. Either one will work fine. You know, just got to pick which way you want to do it and then do it. One's a little bit more work, but I think the results are better. 
Okay, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.